Hi. Uh, hi. Are you following me? Okay, okay. I'll tell you about today's episode. Today, I will give you three different ways of making a really good cup of coffee out on the trail. And in the end, also do a giveaway. So, come on and I will show you. I have settled for instant coffee on my hikes for a long time. And I actually think it is pretty okay. I mean, it is really easy just to make a cup and there's no waste or fuss around it. I have to say, honestly, I'm a little bit fed up with instant coffee. I mean, sure, the taste is okay for the amount of effort you put into it, but it is not a good cup of coffee, right? So I decided I wanted to try something new. And today I will show you three different ways of making a good cup of coffee out on the trail, starting with the GSI Commuter Java Press. And just like the name says, it is a portable coffee press made for people on the go. The commuter press is made from five pieces and can be taken apart for easy cleaning. You have the outer material, the sleeve and the bottom part to protect you from the heat. And the two tubes are the actual coffee press and on top of that a lid to pour from or to drink from directly. The weight on this coffee press is 270 grams. Now, let's not waste any more time talking and make that first cup of coffee. This is how it's made with the commuter Java Press, and it is pretty straightforward. First, you obviously start by boiling the water. Then you remove the inner tube, and like you can see, the filter is built into that inner tube, and it's not replaceable. Then add the coffee into the bigger tube, and depending on the type of coffee and how strong you want it, Add like three to four spoons of grains. Add the hot water into the tube and onto the grains. The press holds about 450 milliliter of water, but you can of course do less than that if you want to. Then put back the inner tube to close the bottle and maintain that heat and let the coffee soak for about four minutes. Finally, now just press that tube down to the bottom and the inner tube will be filled with hopefully delicious coffee. Now we are done and ready to try. Yeah, pretty good. And obviously much better than instant coffee. But let's see how it compares to the other two methods. Okay. Let's move on to the second try and to a new product and a much lighter option and the Soto Helix Coffee Maker. This little thing is actually nothing else than a lightweight small wired basket filter holder that folds up very small and takes up no space in your pack. The Soto Helix is made from stainless steel and comes with a small mesh bag and a couple of number two filters. The holder itself weighs 52 grams on my scale, while the bag weighs 12 grams. The holder features three small feet to be rested on the cup for easy and safe brewing of the coffee, and to fold up there and stick the feet into the wires. For the brewing part, well, it couldn't be easier. Just take your cup. Take the filter holder and rest it on top of the cup. Now let's put on the filters and add some grains. And because this is just a small 200 milliliter cup, I only need about two spoons. Just add hot water and pour the water carefully and somewhat slow into that filter and on to the grains. Easy peasy. Well, it isn't harder than that. So let's try the coffee and see how it compares to the coffee press, right? A big cup of freshly made coffee. 
not bad at all actually pretty good now let's move forward to the third and last way of making that perfect cup of coffee after that i will talk about the giveaway so don't go anywhere the final way of making a good cup of coffee is boiled coffee for that you need a little bit of a coarser grain we call it kokaffe meaning and freely translated to boil coffee we start by adding water into the pot and then the grains and for this small pot and for two cups i add like three spoons of coffee grains when that is done you put it on the flame to boil now you can do this a couple of times by removing it when it boils and then put it back over the flame again to boil once more i usually do this two times to get a little bit more flavor now when the coffee has boiled two times i take it away from the flame put the lid on and let it rest for about two to four minutes Now, because I'm not using a traditional coffee pot, I need to have some sort of filter. And I couldn't find any smaller filter than this one. <laughs> now, let's try the coffee. This is a good cup of coffee, for sure. Hmm. Now, let's move forward to the giveaway. Today, I will give you the chance to win the Soto Helix Coffee Maker. And of course, you will get a new one, this one, and not the one I've been trying out today. To participate in this giveaway, you need to do two things. First, and of course, you need to be a subscriber. So do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Secondly, you need to add a comment down below saying that you want to win. You have until Monday to participate and then I will randomly choose a winner that will be presented during next week's video. And all I can say is good luck to you all. Let's end this small video about the perfect cup of coffee. The three options tested out today I believe is all of them a good way of making a cup but myself I will start out by using the Soto Helix coffee maker and try it on my hikes and see how it performs but 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 no matter what you choose i think you will be satisfied and compared to instant coffee this is a completely different level now that's it for today and thanks so much for watching if you have any questions to me regarding coffee or anything else just leave a comment down below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to have the chance to win the Soto Helix Coffee Maker. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you next week. Bye bye!